Hi everyone, Marisol Castro here with the New York Mets. I'm being joined by the newest member of the New York Mets, Carlos Carrasco. Thank you so much for joining us. Right now, we are so excited to get a chance to speak to one of the newest members of the New York Mets, none other than Carlos Carrasco. So wonderful to meet you, how are you? Good, good, I'm really happy for <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're, we're very happy to have you as part of our team. And I, I like to ask the new players this question. Where were you when you got the call that you were coming to the New York Mets? Uh, I was in Bora Bora and uh, it was like 7.30 in the morning over there. <laughs> so were you still half asleep or were you, were you completely awake? And, and, and what did you, who did you tell first? No, I was completely awake because uh, I like to do my exercise in the morning, so I wake up like at 5.30 in the morning. I just went out to run and do everything. And uh, for that time, I just waiting for my, for my kid and my wife just wake up to go on breakfast. But I received a phone call at that time that was really happy for it. I couldn't eat breakfast, couldn't lunch. I, uh, <laughs> I just did dinner. I was so happy at the same time. <laughs> At the same time, I got a lot of texts, and uh, I got a text from Lindor. Hey, brother, we work together to New York, so he was so happy. Yes, we are, we're very excited to have both of you join us. I spoke to him yesterday. He was in the kitchen when he got his call. Not as exotic as Bora Bora, <laughs> but, but exciting, exciting news nonetheless. Carlos, I wonder, what do you know about New York fans? They're really nice. They're really <laughs> nice because I played I play before there. Uh, last week we went, uh, we played for a week because there was like, like three games, uh, New York, uh, to the, to, with the Yankees and like two or three with the Mex. So we watched the whole week over there, but uh, there, it's really nice. Even the playoffs too. Mm -hmm. It's really is good. There, is there anything specific that you remember about New York that you like? Was there a restaurant or something in Queens that you remember that you liked? And if so, what is it? Yeah, restaurant. So every time after I pitch, I go out with my with my wife and my family to eat. So Tao, Lavo, Lavo. So they are really nice uh, uh, restaurant. Okay, player Tao, Lavo. Some of us have to know people to get into those places. So I'm very <laughs> I'm very impressed that that's where you're going. Uh, there's a lot of buzz about having you be part of this organization and having you be part of. This one of the most recognized franchises in the country here in New York City. And I wonder if you've had any time to talk to some of your new teammates, and if so, who? Yes, uh, with um, McCain. I know he sent me a text he was really happy for. I can't wait to meet you. So we need to talk about uh, how we need to work, all those kind of stuff. And uh, um, I received a phone call for. Uh, um, uh, Peter Alonso too. Mm -hmm. So, um, hey man, congratulations, welcome to the mix. So, and um, we kind of start talking a little bit more. So, yeah, from Tampa, I said, no, I'm I'm here. So, okay, I'm from uh, this part, you know, uh, uh, North of Tampa. Yeah, I just drive into there. <laughs> oh, okay, we are really close. <laughs> so, from uh, from another teammate to uh, Thomas Neal to the catcher. Mm -hmm. And um, it was really nice. Strong men too. So mm -hmm. a lot of people, yeah. And I know that you, you are friends from your former team with Lindor. How, how do you describe your relationship with him? Really, really, really good. He's kind of my brother. From day one, he got called and, uh, to the big league in Detroit. Um, from that point to now, he's, he's been my, my brother, my hero. For me, he's a superstar. And I always send a text to him, I'm, I'm glad to play with you, uh, this beautiful sport. And um, to, uh, I'm glad to get you, meet you, you family, because he's a, a really good uh, a family member. You know, he's really good uh, together with his family, mm -hmm. uh, the same time for, for, the, uh, for the team. So just he's coming to New York. The team is gonna be uh, really happy. Uh, about that and that the teammate too. So he's he's one of those guys that uh, the first time when you talk to him, you love it. And, yeah. and he's really nice. And and it's, it's he said some wonderful things about you too. So I think as Mets fans, we're all really excited that the two of you are gonna be part of the organization and, and uh, there's just so much buzz about yeah. all of it. 
Carlos, I wanted to talk to you about um, your, your battle with leukemia because that's certainly something that we don't take very lightly. It's something that we take seriously. And first of all, how are you today in terms of this illness? And what effect did it have on you as, as a player? You know what? Um, right now I'm feeling really, really good. For me, I know, I know he's, he's there, but for me, it's not. That's the way. That's the way uh, uh, I put it myself. Uh, that's the way my wife teaches me to to do everything because she's the one to to guide me to everything. You are strong, man. You don't have anything. You don't have anything. You don't have anything. When you hear that consistently, like a lot every day, every day. So I never think about anything that I have right now. Even mm -hmm. you know, uh, because I got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, I need to play baseball. I need to do exercise. I need to take care of my five kids. A completely different age: uh, 17, 16, nine, five, three. So, uh, doing everything for the uh, foundation. So, making boxes, sending to here, sending over there. So, she's trying to keep me busy. So, mm -hmm. normally we are human beings. Sometimes we start thinking about too much about that. But mm -hmm. from day one to now, I never think about that. Yeah. Never, because then to my wife. Your wife was instrumental on it. I like how you said you were too busy to be sick with leukemia. You had other things to do. I, I like was, it. yeah, I was busy, and that's what I like to do. I was busy because um, to be busy, I never had the chance to think about. It. Right. Every time, every time she has something to do, all that kind of stuff, and that's that's really nice uh, from from her and my family, mm -hmm. because I never think about that. Never. Yeah. Did, did you also apply that idea of not thinking about it for your first game back? Because baseball is such a cerebral game. You know, I, I, right. I watch you players every night and I, I see you guys get in your head and to be faced with something like leukemia, I have to believe affects you in some way. So what was it like going back, um, knowing that you kind of had to put your illness to the side? Were you able to do that? You know what, my goal was, when I found out that I had leukemia, I talked to my wife. End of the season, I just want to get back to, to the mound. No matter what, I don't know what I need to do, all that kind of stuff, but I need to get back to the mound. And that she asked me why. Because, you know, being a father, you know, a husband, a son, I got a big family. A lot of fans follow, follow us. Uh, baseball player, so I just want to get him back to them. Who the people who had this descent disease, so just get him back to the mound so they can see, oh wow, this guy's coming from you know leukemia and see him pitch is really nice. That, that was my goal, and that's, that's what it did on 2019, September 1st, and in, in down in, in Tampa. And I was so happy the way the teammates, the Tampa Bay's on the other side, they came out uh, to the line. Uh, my teammates, the fans, to get see that a lot of love from everyone is is really nice. I bet, I bet it was something that you will carry with you uh, for the rest of your life. And you mentioned pitching, and so you're joining the rotation of Degrom and Stroman and Thor. And uh, what what are your some some of your thoughts when you look at who your teammates are as you as you approach them now? <laughs> really, is really nice. At the same way, like like uh, maybe four. Three, four years ago, when, when I was with the Indians, there was like uh, Cody Kluwer, Bauer, myself, mm -hmm. Clevinger for that time. Uh, now, uh, coming to New York, so can see the same rotation. It's, it's really nice to see those kind of uh, pictures. It's the same way when I was in Cleveland. Here, it's, it's really nice to see that. And um, I think we're going to be really, really good this year. And uh, I feel it. I feel it and are really strong too. Yeah, I, th I think we all are saying we feel it too. We're excited for you. Being in New York, I know that you are, a, you, charity is very close to your heart and we have a strong tradition here at the New York Mets of reaching out to folks in the community. It's, it's really a part of who we are, especially the amazing Mets Foundation. And I wonder what you, what you hope your role will be, uh, both with that organization and any organizations that you plan to bring with you. You know what? I just gonna go out there, you know, perform, 
at the same time off day my wife she's gonna be working there on the community because it's something that i i love to do uh, i love to do i never stop so as a basketball player so they're another player and another people they can see that so it's a lot of inspiration for another another family another player so they can continue to do that i know with the pandemic and in COVID, it's kind of really uh, really hard but at the same time you can contact one of the community or something that you can send some staff over there or something uh, i love to meet people but with the COVID, um uh, we know a lot but uh, not even COVID is gonna stop me to continue to have on the community oh we love that we love that and we know and you're the 2019 <coughs> recipients of the roberto clemente award so congratulations on that and that's also very exciting all right uh, thank you very much Okay, so I want to, I have some quick questions for you. You just have to give like, you don't have to think too hard about them. It's just like a quick <laughs> rapid fire of stuff. Uh, I already know your nickname is Cookie. I understand your teammates caught you eating cookies in the yes. club today. So I ask you, sir, shortbread cookie, Scooby-Doo graham cracker, or Oreos. Which one? Let's start with Oreo. Oreos. You're a smart man. Do you dunk or do you twist? Dunk. <laughs> oh, fine. Okay. What is, your, <laughs> what, is, what is your favorite non-baseball activity? Non-baseball activity? A handyman. Really? Yes. I have a cabinet that squeaks. So maybe on your off day, you can come um, help me. <laughs> that's, that's really easy. That's, that's what I love to do more. Uh, I do more stuff with electricity, to be honest with you guys. Yes, everything, everything in my house. So if we need to put some fans or moving from one power outlet to another different way, I do it. I, I love to do that. Okay, because sometimes we have problems in the PA booth. Now, can, can, we, can we call you? You don't worry yes call me. okay perfect we'll, we'll we'll have a separate phone but we have yeah. <laughs> so so one of my teammates they always get like are you crazy you I, I love to do that um i love to do that i, I like to to play with electricity carefully carefully and uh if it's something get damaged on the how i always repair it this is <laughs> handy man yeah. I, I, Carlos, I love this uh what's your favorite kind of music Ah, uh, you know what? I got, uh, I got, uh, I like salsa. Mm -hmm. I like a uh, little bit of reggaeton too. Mm -hmm. um, classic. Yeah. All that, all that jazz. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? The what? The best piece of advice, a piece of consejo that anyone has ever told you. And if you don't never, have one, that's fine. <laughs> never give up. That's what I. Yes. I like That's, that. Yeah. I like Never that. give up. Yeah. Do you have any ritual that you do before the game? Do you have any pre-game rituals? No. I'm on the I'm on, I'm on the same guy. So every fight that I'm on, I'm on, I'm on the same guy. I used to a long time ago um like four days I was it was me funny mm -hmm. but the day I pitched I was like Oh, I don't talk to anyone. And uh, one guy, one guy told me, oh, why you had to be like that? A different, completely two different people. Yeah. Cody, Cody Kluber told me that. Just be the same people, be you. Yeah. So when he told me that, it was amazing. That's the year that I, I got 18 games. And the following year, I got 17 games, win, all that kind of stuff. Why you have to be a completely different people? Just be you. And that's, that's what I got, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to continue that. Just be you, because we need the same thing. We need you to bring the heat. So just be you. I like it. Yeah, even on the day. <laughs> so I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a funny guy. And even the day that I pitch, um, but I soon I cross those two, those two lines. That's my game. That's it. So before Love that, it. continue. Just continue me. Love that. What do you like to do on your day off? And don't say build a fence or build or, or fix an outlet. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, I never forget my uh, my community. I always, when I have off there, I go out there. Even even when I was with the Cleveland, I talked to um, 
uh, the, those guys who's uh, involved in the community say, even the day that I pitch, I can go out there and talk and come back. That's, that's what I've been doing for a couple of years. So um, I think it's really important for, for me and for my family and the community too. To do charity, I love it, I love it. And uh, what is, are you, are you currently watching any television shows? Are you binge watching anything? To be honest with you, we have fight TV on the house. We never, we never turn it on. It's just we there have, for decoration. We, 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 we have a lot of stuff to do and with yeah. the kids, homework. So my kids do uh, homeschool, so they're always in the home and there. We do a lot of homework. So for sign, science, we need, I need to help my kid doing the, the science thing, everything. If something broke in the house, I, I had to do it. And uh, at night time, that's the, that's the time we, we work. Me and my wife, sometimes my kids making boxing, packing on the same day so we can send them out. Every time my wife, she's keeping me busy about, you know, I never think about the disease that I have. Mm -hmm. So I think it's something that I'm glad to, to have a, a beautiful family, my wife and uh, friends, a lot of friends that can help me to, to do that too. Oh, this is fantastic. I love it. Thank you so much for your time. Is there anything you wanted to add that I didn't get to ask you? You know what? Uh, I just want to say for day one that I got straight to now, the fans have been unbelievable. It's been unbelievable. I can't wait to, to, to get in New York and perform and get to meet the fans. If we're going to have fans uh, at the stadium, I can't wait to meet them. And they and we can't wait to meet you and see mm -hmm. you on the map. <laughs> so thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed that interview with Carlos Carrasco, and we hope to see you safely at the ballpark real soon.